The year is 2020. Apologies for giving you Vietnam flashbacks. So with all this free time on my hands, I spent a lot of time watching anime. And I found a lot of different anime to dive into. One of those was a series that I was very excited to get into, but also kind of intimidated at the same time. Of course, that being the Fate series, which at the time I was unaware was a part of an even bigger verse called the Nasuverse. I looked up a watch list and I started with Fate Zero. I loved it. I thought it was a masterpiece. And just like that, I was hooked. That's all I'm going to say about it because if I talk about it any longer, I'm going to be here for days. So then obviously the next one I watched was Fate Day Night Unlimited Blade Works. This was an experience. And this is really what I can say about the entire Fate Works. It's an experience. And it's one I'll never forget. But today, we're going to focus in on one character that I originally thought I was going to hate. A character that changed my feelings about an entire character archetype. A character that I resonate with and relate to. And a character who became one of my favorites in all of fiction. My fellow vagabonds, let me tell you how I went from hating Ren Tosaka to loving her. One thing to note before going any further is that when I watched Fate, it was back when I didn't really pay much attention when I watched anime. Like, I paid enough attention where to the point I could say I liked or disliked an anime or its characters or its overall story. But I could never go into detail, especially with Fate. And this being through the perspective of a newcomer. But after I watched Fate, I started to pay much, much more attention when I watched anime. Anyways, going into UBW, I had the mentality that all tsundere's were the same. And back then, I fucking hated tsundere's. I found them extremely annoying. And all I knew about Rin was that she was a tsundere. So I was already prepared to not fucking like her. And initially, yeah, I wasn't really feeling her. I thought she was pretty freaking mean. I don't think I hated her, but I wouldn't say I liked her. I remember Shiro showed up to school and Rin just got mad at him and I was so confused why. Then she attacks him and chases him through the school. Of course, I was enjoying the incredible production from Ufotable, but I was annoyed at Rin for doing this. I already thought she was a bit annoying and this didn't help, but this didn't last long. Ryder attacks a student and Rin doesn't even hesitate to help. And this surprised me. Ryder was about to kill Shiro, but Rin saved him and immediately went to heal him up. After the attack, Shiro was ready to fight Rin again, but Rin was shocked by this and said that they should just call it a day and decided to take Shiro to her house to treat his wounds. And just from this, my stance on Rin began to change. And from this point on, it only went up from here. Now, of course, there were times I found her a bit irritating, but that's honestly with majority of characters that I love and people, period. You're not gonna love every single thing about a character or a person. But seeing those flaws and seeing them accept their flaws and grow from them is extremely cathartic. And I think this is when I was slowly falling in love with Rin. I mean, I already thought she was pretty cute and well, <clears throat> You know. And it's at the end when I fully realized that I loved her. Especially when she said she was a hedonist at heart. And that even though she's duty bound to succeed her father, she wouldn't do it if she didn't enjoy being a mage. One of the main reasons she's even participating in the Holy Grail War is because she's competitive and has a desire to win. She's the type of person who follows her heart and does what she likes. And even on my first watch, I really loved that about her. I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the main things I remember from my first watch. The rest of it, other than what I've already named, is a bit of a blur. And like I mentioned earlier, back then I didn't pay much attention when watching anime, which I advise you to please pay attention when watching anime. That way you can enjoy it more. And again, I did not hate Rin for long. Hell, I don't even think I did hate her. I just didn't like her for a little. Mainly because she was a tsundere. But Rin subverted the hell out of my expectations. And upon my second watch, it hit me. Oh, it all depends on the character. Are all tsundere's the same? No, it all depends on the character every single day. Time. There can be a character that's a tsundere or has tsundere tendencies that I could end up hating. And the opposite is true too. Different writers, 
different characters. It always depends. But even though it always depends, majority of the time when I watch an anime or play a game with a tsundere in it, I end up really loving them majority of the time. And it's because of Rin and other characters like Stella from Chivalry of a Failed Knight. I overall enjoy the archetype now. So after rewatching UBW, it was so much better the second time around. Almost like I was watching a different freaking anime. Remember when I said I was annoyed at Rin for getting mad at Shiro when he came to school? Well this time, <laughs> I was annoyed at Shiro! Literally, Rin's reaction was was my fucking reaction. She reminds him that the Holy Grail War is a fight to the death, and the next time they meet, it will be as enemies. But the next day, Shiro just shows up to school as normal. He doesn't even bring Saber with him. I could completely understand why Rin was pissed off now. And I was pissed too. And of course, this means I understood why she attacked him now. Because she fucking warned him. This is the Holy Grail War. And if you're not careful, you're gonna get yourself killed. He's lucky Rin is such a caring person. There are so many moments that made me fall in love with Rin's character. The moment when they encountered Lancer and Shiro and Rin were arguing about who should run away. The both of them were just trying to keep the other one safe. Oh. You finished already? Rin noticing Shiro's self-destructive nature and how messed up it was. Understandable from his perspective, but still messed up and sad. And during the epilogue after they become a couple, Rin fighting Luvia to protect her man. I need me a girl who would fight for me like this, bruh. Yeah, that brother's starving. What the hell is that bitch's problem? Rin is a very loyal character. This isn't a full character analysis on Rin. Maybe one day I'll do that. But I just wanted to tell you guys this story. And after rewatching Fate and diving more deep into the series, Rin became one of my favorite female characters. And just one of my favorite characters in fiction. It's crazy how fast she skyrocketed up my ranks of characters and waifus. So with that, this is how I went from hating Rin to loving her. Oh well, I'll put her in her place soon. Hello, my fellow vagabonds. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. I'm hungry. Second long form video of the year. I'm, I'm proud of myself, man. It also helps that like this video wasn't as long as like the Hell's Paradise and the Samurai Champloo video was, but I wanted those videos to be long, so. Anyways, like I mentioned in the last video, yeah, I've been playing the hell out of Persona. Persona 5 Royal is my favorite game of all time, and I don't know, man, Persona 3, Re <laughs> Persona 3 Reload can end up being my second, or maybe my first, I don't know. I didn't even start off talking about Rin, Jesus Christ. But yeah, no, um, <laughs> she's literally the reason why I love Sundays. I hated them, but now I love them. <laughs> Honestly, making this video just made me so tempted to just rewatch all of Fate. Hell, maybe even all of Type Moon, but that will take a minute, so. I mean, I'll do it eventually, but probably not right now. Anyways, as always, thank you guys so much for the love and support, and we're just gonna keep this journey going. And with that, safe travels. Another